Yeah, huge discrepancies in disposals and contested ball, um, but still just couldn't quite get the result. What do you sort of put that down to in a nutshell, I guess? Yeah, I think what we've been trying to work on is, um, you know, that, that, that total game is not quite together yet. Um, you know, we put a, a great emphasis on, you know, the different phases of our game and, um, you know, we've been a little bit off in certain parts of, of all of them. Um, but we haven't been able to string it all together. And that's probably why our forms has... as you highlighted in the numbers. When you touch on that, though, they got you quite comfortable in the third quarter in that area. So is that a frustrating bit as well because you were so strong in, it in the first half? Oh, no, I don't, I, don't think we're, um, I don't think we should ever be a team that we don't think that a team's going to get some stage um, go OK in that area. Um, it would be rare to be sitting here playing against really good sides and sort of thinking that you can just go about dominating that part of the game. Um, but that's why you need your other phases. Uh, because if there is a, a slight drop off in that particular area, um, you know how does your how does your defence hold you for a little bit longer? How does your how does your efficiency when you get your opportunities? Um, how do you finish when you need to finish? Um, so the moments we had um, that you highlighted through that period of time, we had actually moments to hit the scoreboard and and be able to finish our plays, and they were incomplete. Um, so there, there's still some work to go on that. We can't be a team that thinks that that's the only thing that's going to get the thing done for us. We've got to, we've got to grow out of that. Um, but it's got to form the base of us as a footy team. And I felt like we made that um, improvement this week. But we've still got work to go on it, for sure. How deflating do you think some of those misses were in the third quarter? Harry and, and Jack were on front of goal because you, you did have your, your chances in that third quarter. Yeah, I think we can we can acknowledge that um, the efficiency part of the game was had a pretty significant say on the end result. So, um, you know, in the first half when we did have that dominance, you want to be able to put scoreboard pressure on. Um, but at the same time, you know, through the through the third and fourth quarter, we're also got to you know as as a footy team stay engaged in the game. And um, if we're not finishing and we're not quite getting that nourishment, um, you know, how do we how do we still um, have an impact in the game? And if that requires that we have to hold for a little longer and be really harder to not get scored against. Well, if that's what it requires, that's what we have to be. Because um, we acknowledge the game won't all go our way. Um, there will be periods of time in the game that it won't go our way. So how do we hold in those moments? And then when we get our turn next, how do we maximise them? Uh, you, I know you've been asked this question before, but Harry Mackay opting for the snap set shot from such long distance out. Are you happy with him to continue doing that? Or... No dramas because oh, I think it's it's a definite player by player, yep. um, and he goes to work on it pretty hard. And uh, there's always coaching in it, um, but I think there's an acknowledgement that you know it's industry wide uh, that it that it gets done. So this is not a new technique that has just emerged. Um, it's it's been going. And he rehearses it and goes after it. That's the only ask the players to be able to to uh, you know, look at their technique and, and how they finish and keep evaluating it and have enough humility to know that if it's not working and what do you need to adjust and that's all I ask the players to do. But then go to work on it. Yeah. So don't don't just think that something's going to work and then you know you don't practice it. But uh, yeah not necessarily the technique but just from the distance like generally oh, possibly but that's if he, that's for us to for a review. Yeah. Um, and that that'll be feedback that he needs to evaluate. Um, and uh, we need to get better in that area. So I, I don't think that that's just for Harry. That's um, for us as a footy team. Our, our front half game and our efficiency around our front half game needs to improve. Where's his overall confidence? I don't want to harp on it too much, but where's his overall confidence like in front of goal right now? There was a point in the first quarter where he chipped backwards, you know, opted not to take a set shot. Um, at a similar spot down the other end, he missed. Um, he's just, it's been a talking point throughout the year. He hasn't quite been able to finish his work. Uh, Look, I think you'd have to ask. I'm not a predictor of his mindset, um, so you'd have to you'd have to probably ask him that question. But I think he's um, I think he's okay. Um, you know, the the moment you're talking about, he's trying to be a good teammate. So it's uh, you know, it's yeah, like you'd like to go back and, and kick that goal, but he's also trying to bring one of his teammates into the game. So um, so there are coaching moments within that. But I just say as a collective, what we've got to get better at is we've got to get it. Um, we have to be more efficient um, in the front half of our game. 
Um, and if we can do that, then we'll maximise more of those opportunities. Are you comfortable with the way you've been moving the ball generally fr from well, defence? Well, I think I just, I think I just yeah. highlighted that. So, yeah. Do you want from, me to say it again? From from the back line though, as well, You're not just forwards. Our efficiency needs to improve. So, as I said, the total, the total, uh, our total game's not all together, and so there's parts that are. Um, there's parts that uh, in our front half um, that showed up today that we need to get better at. And then there was a period through the third quarter where our back half, we were making too many mistakes. I actually thought that if I look back in the game, I'll have to go back and have a look. But I think some of the decisions that we made were actually quite sound. Um, so you can't take that off them. But our ability to execute and go after it um, needs maybe a little bit of work. So. Um, no, the decisions, I thought some of the decisions um, we talked about in the coach's box was actually quite sound. Um, but, yeah, ability to execute needs to be a little bit better, so we've got to go to work on it. Sorry if I wasn't clear enough. You are comfortable with the method overall and, and the way... The I, I think the method actually looked quite OK. Yeah. You've, got to, you've got to finish your plays, and yeah. they're incomplete, and I think that's a bit of a theme for us at the moment. It's incomplete. Um, so we, we've got to go to work on it. Are you confident that it's an easy fix, or this or it might be like a longer-term fix? I, th I don't think you're ever a finished product because, you know, Oppositions throw different defences at you, and you know St Kilda will throw a completely different defence, or did throw a completely different defence at us. They're hard to score against. Um, they're, they've um, shown that against the competition um, so far this year. They're quite happy to defend from their from their back half and hold on um, when they need to. So that prevent, that presents some challenges. Um, what we have to again be good enough though. If a team decides to do that, well, we've got to hold ourselves. Um, so that's what I say. It's, it, we're looking for the total game here. Um, we're not looking for one phase to be able to, to, to fix it. There's clearly some things we need to make some progression in, and, and there might be it might take a couple of weeks to, to get after it to the level we need to. Tom McConing being managed, what was the thinking behind that? Um, he was sore, um, and he was ill during the week. Um, so that was that was the thinking through that. And it's a long season, you know, like it's a really long season, and uh, the Rucks play in a very highly combative um, position on the ground. So. Um, yeah, when you've got a, a few little things that are that are just uh, annoying you, um, and he had a little bit of illness which prevented him training um, early in the week, and uh, we just sort of felt that that was a better option for us. How do you look at the season so far? Sort of about a quarter of the way through, and you've mentioned you haven't probably had a, a single game that's really put everything together, um, and you've got a couple. Geelong's pretty good. How do you look at it though in that, that six week? Uh, no, we have to get better. I, mean, it's, I think it's. I think as I mentioned, like we've we've got. Parts of our game together, and then there's there's you know it's been inconsistent in others. So it's not even so much a week to week. It's been almost you know a half, and then there's a quarter where we drop away and and we don't hold it together. So um, you know early part of the year we're able to get the wins, um, so we could keep working on our game. Um, last week we obviously threw up a um, you know a result we didn't like, and we we got the result by not aiming up around contest, and um, we got a real lesson in that area. So. That's something that we've decided to go after pretty hard first. Um, you know, I think every team wants to have that sound, uh, but we have to. But we acknowledge that we've got some things we need to be able to build off the back of it. But there were some signs of progress in a few areas of our game, but there's clearly, obviously, uh, things we still need to keep working on. So the positive is that you've got those early wins banked while you've still got plenty of improvement. You feel? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, some some uh, consistency in personnel, um, some familiarity and cohesion um, in our in our lines. Um, so we've had a bit of chopping and changing early in the year, uh, but uh, you know, obviously, we want to sort of try and create as much stability and cohesiveness as we possibly can in the footy team. So um, you don't always get that, but um, but certainly from us as a footy team, we just feel like we've still got so much growth left in us. Um, we know we're not where we need to be. So, um, but we can only focus on what we can control, and we'll get to work again this week, and and we'll work on some of those aspects of the game. So um, we're pretty clear on what they are, and we're just got to get after them. On that personnel front, do you expect to get any back for the Eagles? Oh, no, too early to tell. Yeah, too early to tell. We'll sort of um, unpack this game and, and then uh, do our review and then we'll assess out of this game who's playing, who's not, who's available. Um, so we, we probably don't really get into that until Tuesday, Wednesday during the week. Did everyone get through OK today? I, I think so. Yeah. Um, no, sorry, Will, was there? Um, so I think everyone got through, yeah. Thanks, Cheers. Thanks, Maurice. Thanks, Michael.